Um, no, I'm not mainly thinking about humanitarian corridor when I talk about legal migration. I'm mainly t talking about labor migration. Uh, and I think when you look at the nationalities that are arriving right now, many of those just want to come and earn some money and, and to be able to take part in our labor market. And we need them on our labor market, but we don't want them to come this way on the irregular routes. Uh, so that's why in parallel to reaching out to countries of origin to prevent the departures and to take back the citizens that are not allowed to stay, in the same way we also invite on and in, in uh, legal uh, ways, for, for, especially for labor migration. Of course, we are also dealing with uh, humanitarian corridors, but that's mainly for other nationalities. For example, Afghans, that we have uh, been using humanitarian corridors, 35,000, I think, so far on, on uh, vulnerable Afghans that have been able to come uh, safely to the European Union. The Temporary Protection Directive is, as you know, a directive that is very um, special. Uh, it's have it for 20 years. It's never been used until now. So it's, of course, for a very special situation, like the one that we have right now with the war in Ukraine. So I can't really see that this is used, you know, for all different kind of, of situations. But, of course, I think that we can learn some lessons on how well, I must say, that we are managing the migration situation with Ukrainians today. Thank you so much.